Skipping tests during a code overhaul is good practice. Let's show this. We'll use TDD to implement a new feature, adding multiple guardians to a player at once. We get into TDD mode with code on the left, tests on the right. We change the existing test to mean singular. Before starting, as a sanity check, run your tests. Add a new test for adding multiple guardians. The new test adds one guardian, then adds a sequence of two or more guardians using a new API. The assertion checks that all three guardians are there. As expected, the test fails. We're busy on something else and want to skip running this test. Import PyTest and add the skip marker, providing some text as an optional reason. The test runner now indicates one test was ignored. We return to working on this. Add a new method, add under guardians, by cloning the existing method. It takes a list of guardians as the first argument. The method combines the new list into the instance's existing list. Now we remove the skip marker and clean up the unused imports. The test passes and our feature is implemented. We notice that we're passing in a list of guardians. It should be slightly better as a tuple. The tests still pass, but the IDE warns us we violated the contract, which calls specifically for a list. Change the parameters type hint to an iterable of guardians to allow different kinds of sequences. The warning disappears. Now a second feature, denoting a primary guardian, meaning the first assigned. Same pattern, write a failing test, mark it with skip, implement, remove skip. We will clone the previous test, change its name to denote testing a primary guardian, and change the assert to see if the primary guardian matches the first assigned guardian. Add the mark to skip from the beginning. In the player class, we will add a Python property that holds this logic. The primary guardian returns the first guardian in the list. When we go to the test and remove the skip, the tests run and the implementation works, even with a flaw that we will detect and correct in a future tutorial step.